Hey y'all. Peach and I just came back from the vet. I'll show you what she looks like. They took her scab off and they sprayed it with kind of like a, a liquid band-aid. But they said she's doing a lot better. And they said she's seven weeks. So here's, here's Peachy Girl. Here's your boo-boo. Show me your boo-boo. Show me your boo boo. There it is. There's your boo boo. We have at least like another month of giving her antibiotics and uh, cleaning her wound. They said she's doing good. Here's the finished bench. Daniel finished painting it and hung it up. We like it. Our neighbors like it. And now we are disassembling the atrium in our mudroom. So the walls are down, the bars are down, the fence is down. So we're gonna take all this litter and we're gonna go put it out in the garden. Hey y'all! I wanted to give you guys some updates on the baby birds that built their nest, or the parents built their nest and show you how they're doing. I wanted to give you an update on baby Peach and how she is doing and um, show the garden and just all the little projects that we've completed. So let's go. I've seen mom come twice today and feed them. So here they are. We've got two babies. this bird nest yesterday. Um, I don't know what kind of bird maybe made it, but I wanna see if there's any babies in it. has a silver patch on her here and that's um, like a liquid <laughs> a liquid band-aid that we apply twice a day. Um, we also give her iodine on her wound and we give her antibiotics and something um, kind of like a Pepto for her bowel movements. This is where the chickens used to be in their brooder box. Daniel pulled everything out and cleaned it up. I went with my neighbor to go pick up our wood burning stove and hopefully in the near future we will have it installed in our living room. Uh, we still need to make the mat that it sits on on our wood floors. Once that's in, then we can put this in. I wanted to go ahead and show you our chickens outside. It's pretty warm out. Um, it's probably like in the 80s. So you'll see uh, they have their mouths open and they're panting. We do have cold water for them and we've been giving them like ice cubes in their water to help keep them cool. But we're keeping an eye on them, making sure they don't overheat. So um, anyways, here's the girls. We have a couple of the older ones inside, but most of them on the inside are the younger, newer chickens. And we've just separated them because uh, they don't get along so well and we want to make sure the little ones are getting enough food. As you see, the big ones have food out here and the little ones, the little ones have food in there. They have their hanging water, they have some bowls of water. Here's Fasty, she's one of our original bigger chickens but she likes to hang out with the younger ones and um, I haven't seen her be particularly aggressive to the young ones. This red one here, she is our most aggressive bird, and we think she could potentially be a he. We think it might be a rooster. We're waiting to see uh, because they throw in like one extra chick when you order them, and that one might be a male. So that one could be a male. It's definitely the largest bird we have out of all of these. Here's the garden. We've been trying to weed control. There's cardboard and then 
hay, rotted hay. All right, and then as you see, I had originally planted lavender here, but the grass took over. And now I have in here um, Roma tomatoes. These ones I started from seed, and they were from the dollar store, and they all took off and have done very well. These are the Windsor bean, and they are starting to produce beans, as you see. Here's our corn, it's starting to flower. Our potatoes, but Daniel has potatoes in another location, and they are flowering, and they don't look like this, so I'm not sure what's going on with those. Here's our snow peas. I'll go ahead and harvest uh, some of these today. We've harvested uh, one set of snow peas already. And over here are the cucumbers from my neighbor, Lori and Rob. They so generously gave us these. And here I have a watermelon. This box has my sweet potatoes in it. Okay, so right here you can see one of our peaches. This is our one peach tree that had blossoms late enough in the season that the late frost didn't kill it. We're getting this sap, so I don't know if something's burrowed into them, like these beetles. And we also have the um, boysenberry tree. My mom, while she was here, we went and we picked some boysenberries together and enjoyed those. They're pretty small though, and it's not like the tree is covered in fruit, so it takes it takes a lot of time before you um, have a good amount for eating or maybe like if you wanted to put it in a pie or something. I just eat them right off the tree. I just make sure there's no like, you know, bugs showing on them. My dad wouldn't eat one because it had an ant on it and he threw it on the ground. And I was like, pick that up, it's fine to eat. Just blow the ant off. Hey y'all. It is Saturday and we've just been doing regular chores. Today we're gonna do a couple of projects, but um, so I filmed the baby chicks on the porch and the next day Daniel was not seeing the mom bird. So I came out to check on them and this is what I found. So sadly, the birds are gone. And as you saw, they were not old enough to drive or drive. They weren't old enough to fly. Here's our, our chickens. Daniel already moved them this morning and it's much cooler today. They are very happy today. I'm in the garden. I am going to go ahead and harvest some snow peas. And then I am going to, I'm gonna go ahead and treat lots of our plants with a uh, cayenne pepper spray I made because something's eating my beans and my carrots and my radishes and my bok choy. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray it down and they will not like what it tastes like after that. And here's our bird bath. We bought this solar panel fountain. It does not work if there's shade. It has to have sunlight, which is a bummer because I put this bird bath purposefully in the shade. <laughs> so I'm hoping a bird comes and uses it. Obviously there's like debris in here because I put this right under a tree. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice for the birds to have like a not super sunny spot. I guess not. <laughs> but I'm gonna just keep my eyes on it, see if any birds come to it. I saw a bird use it the other day with um, without the fountain in it. So it gets very hot here. I think this will be appreciated by the birds. Some of our sunflowers we planted what feels like forever ago. Um, they're not very tall. They're just these short little things. I'm not sure that's because they've been like crowded out by this um, grass. It's like a weed. Uh, we tried not to run over them with the lawn mower, but I thought they were going to be a wall. But anyways, this is what they look like. So we'll see if any of them get much taller.